Hey guys and welcome back. It has been quite a while since I sat down to film. I've had so much going on. The last few weeks have been like crazy with pictures and editing. So I have one more full weekend of photo shoots and then I will have a breather, a break. So I'll be able to film a few more videos. There's actually quite a bit going on as well just in life and so my content may change just a little bit if you want me to do like a get ready with me and tell you all about this i can but i'm going to be doing a full month of nothing new in january because i'm not going to be able to purchase anything and i'm considering doing vlogmas i've never done it i'm thinking about trying if you want me to let me know in the comments below and i will do 25 days of videos in a row um, some may be super short <laughs> Uh, but I might try that, we'll see. But today, let's get into why we're here. I am talking about my best of beauty for 2021. So I am going to let you know my top 21 favorites from the year of 2021. It's been a crazy year, it's been an interesting year. First half of the year, I didn't really wear much makeup, but I do have some favorites, some solid picks that I used consistently throughout the year. Some of them I haven't used in a while, but I used a lot in the beginning of the year. So we're gonna revisit some of those and talk about some newer favorites as well. But this is all stuff in the makeup category. If you want me to do a separate skincare video, skin hair care video, I can definitely do that as well. But today we're getting into my top 21 beauty favorites. I wrote them out in order of what came to my mind first. So the first ones are gonna be my top, top, either current go-to everyday makeup or consistently throughout the year. Um, and my number one, I know this is weird, most people do this backwards, but I wanna start with my number one favorite and that is the Kosas Concealer. This is their, their Revealer Concealer. It was launched this year. Some of these products were launched this year, but a lot of them were not. But anyways, I have the shade 0.5N and this is my favorite concealer and as you can tell uh <laughs> it's getting really really low and i can't really buy a whole lot of makeup um in the next coming months so i'm not really sure <laughs> i don't know if I, I i mean i can live without it let's not be dramatic but i don't really want to go without this so i may ask for it for christmas or something that might be a good idea but this is my number one concealer this year. Absolutely amazing find. And I've heard that a lot of people like this as well. It's, I'm not gonna say it's a new Tarte Shape Tape in popularity, but I feel like this is gonna have a big moment like Tarte Shape Tape did. So I love this, number one favorite of the year. Next up is my lips, not my lips. What's on my lips? That is the Merit Tinted Lip, Lip Oil. This is called their Shade Slick Lip Oil and I have the shade Pink Beet and this was sent to me by Merit. I still am over the moon that they sent me the products, but this is definitely quickly become a favorite. I love to put it on my lips. It feels so lightweight and I love the color. I love, I just love the, the feel of this. Um, so this is definitely, that was one that I thought of right away. Some of these Merit products are gonna be upfront because they're more recent favorites, um, except this one. I have been using this one for several, several months, most of the year, and this one I did purchase myself, but it's the Merit Complexion Stick. They did, however, send me a brand new one, so it's funny, you can tell how the packaging changes changes with wear. The name is off of mine. Let me show you the bright, shiny new one. This is the Merit Complexion Stick, and it's quickly become an absolute favorite staple in my routine. Have the shade Silk. Love this. It blends out so seamlessly, so quickly. And my favorite thing about it is I can keep this in my purse. And if like my coverage is running out throughout the day, if it's wearing off, I can dab this on top of my powder under my eyes, tap it out, to add a little extra coverage and it looks beautiful. Like I don't have any other product that I can do that with. So this can be used for minimal makeup days, for glam, I'm wearing it today, and it can also be used for touch up. So this is all around an absolute staple. It is $38, but it does last really well. You don't go through it too quickly. I draw this all over my face and it's still going strong. Highly, highly recommend that product. My son's watching Moana in there. If you hear anything, that's, that's him. I'm, tried to 
Yeah, okay. Next is another Kosas product. So if there's a theme here, I like Kosas and Merit. I've discovered those brands this year and they have become staples in my routine. This one is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder and Airy. My lid is gone. This is my only complaint is the packaging broke. Let's see if you can see it right there. Um, and I actually lost the lid. I was like clicking it on, but I dropped this in my living room and the lid just vanished under my couch and I can't find it. So, but I love this powder so much that I'm still using it and I just am careful with where I place it and I just like put it on my makeup desk and I keep using this. So that may not be the most hygienic, but uh, I love this powder and it's in my top four. So while we were on powders, we're going to talk about my longtime love. This is like four or five years of using this powder and it's the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in Porcelain. Mine is sadly pretty much gone. This is all pan right here. You can see a little bit on the edge and I, I do, I dig my brush in there to get this powder out. Desperately want a new one, but I will eventually get a new one. I have powder, so I'm okay. This is a concealer that I have loved for quite a while now. This is what I used constantly until I got the Kosas, and then I kind of bounced back and forth between the two. Um, I'm using the Kosas pretty much exclusively right now because this one is pretty much gone. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I run through these so fast. I don't know if it's just because it's my favorite, it was my favorite concealer and I used it constantly, or if there's just not much product, but there's a little bit left in there, but this is definitely a long time favorite, long time love. I think this has a little bit less coverage than the Kosas. So I use this when I'm wanting a little bit lighter makeup day, but definitely still up there. You are. I just didn't put it in the, in the basket. Okay, one more powder to go. We'll close out that category, but this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh powder and I have actually really enjoyed this. I have the shade 110 porcelain. Everything I have is porcelain. Let's get real. Um, but it has a decent amount of coverage so I like to use this under my eyes. I don't use it every time. A lot of times I just use the Kosas or the Laura Geller when I have it but I do like adding this. It's a little bit more, it's not mattifying but it's a little bit more mattifying than the other powders that I have. So if I really want more of a glam set look, I will use this powder. Oh, this, okay, strike what I just said. I read my notes wrong. This wasn't in my list of 21 favorites. So I like it, but ignore that. Okay, moving on. That's why it wasn't in the basket because I didn't include it. I, this was the CoverGirl product I was supposed to talk about. Okay. This is the CoverGirl CG Smoothers, and this is my second one of this. I recently had to repurchase this because I used a whole one. That's how much I love this. So quick, it's so easy. It's, since I've gotten the Merit, it's not quite as quick and mess-free as the complexion stick, but especially in the summer, I loved putting this in my hands and just rubbing on my face and going out the door. So still a favorite light coverage foundation really enjoy that. Okay, let's get back on track here, shall we? This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, and I've actually really, in, when I first got it, I was like, it's okay, but the more I've used it, the more I've loved it. I have the shade 003 Moon, and I will go ahead and put this on top of my lip oil. It has a good smell, and it's just sh show. It's so shiny and juicy and it's definitely thicker, especially than the lip oil, but it's a thicker gloss, but it's very um, plumping in the sense of juiciness, not necessarily tingliness, but it's a very juicy lip gloss. I really, really enjoy that. Let's go into eyeshadow. This is the palette I am wearing today. I held up my four eyeshadow palettes that I'm mentioning today and I had my son pick one. <laughs> because I couldn't decide. And today we're talking about the Vanity Makeup, the Signature Palette. I know this is expensive. I know you, if you've seen my channel, you've heard me talk about this because I, I kind of like it. There's just something about this palette that is special to me. It blends beautifully. The shimmer shades, like, it's just so pretty. I love the shimmers in this. You can get a nice, simple, everyday look, and you can also get a beautiful glam look. I've talked about this palette enough. I'm not going to say anything else, 
but this was definitely a top palette for this year. Another top palette for this year, another just like love discovery is the Sydney Grace Temptalia on the Horizon palette. This is the light version and it's pretty messy because I have used and loved this. Every, every single time I do my makeup with this, I love, I can't stop staring at my eyeshadow. Some of these, these, what's the word I'm looking for? I haven't used that one a whole lot. Uh, metallic shades are just insanely gorgeous. I, I cannot get over them. And on the lid, they just, let's just, let's just swatch, like, whoosh. Mm. On the lid, they're just mesmerizing. This is definitely, definitely an exciting favorite for the year. We're going on to a blush. This is a blush I love so much that I bought twice. Kind of. I got it in an Ipsy and it broke. Well, it didn't break, my husband broke it, but not on purpose. Anyways, I missed using it so much that I bought it. So this is, I don't not never really heard of this brand. I'm not positive how you say this. Shin, Shinai, Shinia, Shina, Sha, Inia. <laughs> this is the brand. I'm not going to embarrass myself by continuing on. But anyways, the shade is Bellini. And I don't know, there's just something special about, I'm wearing it today, something special about this blush for light skin tones. This is not a blush that you could wear if you have medium deep. This is, this is a great fair blush. It's got a peachiness to it that I don't normally like peach, but it works on me. And it's, it's nothing special swatched. It's nothing special in the pan, but on the cheeks, it's this beautiful, natural peachy flush. And I, I love it. Ooh, it's very smooth too. This is the first time I've like touched it and swatched it. Love the blush, love it. Okay, from Viseart, again, no surprise here. Ooh, my nails go with it really well. No surprise here if you've been around my channel, but this is the Viseart Viola E Tendu palette. In case you don't know me, I love purple. And this is my favorite purple palette. I love that I can get some more like natural, everyday looking looks, can't think of the word, looks. But then I go into some of these and man, you can get a beautiful pink, purple, gorgeous eye. So this is definitely a favorite and the purples blend beautifully. There's another Merit product. This one was sent to me again. This is the Merit Highlighting Balm in Kava. I love this so much. I just take my finger in the highlighting balm and I tap it on my face just like that. It goes beautifully over powder and I love it. I mean, you could swipe it on, but I just tap it where I want it. And it's such a natural, wet looking. I don't wear highlights, but I find myself wanting to wear this. So this is the only highlight I need. Only one. Okay, Jouer Duo Blush. I've used this a lot this year. This has been around for years. And I've always had my eye on it and I finally bought it and I got the shade Flirt. And I love, love, I, there's something about these light, light blushes for me. Um, this one's more on the pinky side than here. Like, it's even lighter than this one, but it shows up on my cheeks. It looks beautiful. It has a nice glow to it. I love this blush. I use this one as well, but um, this is like the star of this for me, again for very fair skin tones. This is beautiful, love it. They have other colors, so if you, like the formula itself is great, so if you find a different color that would work for you, I still recommend, beautiful. Okay, another duo product. This was a year for duo products for me, but this is the Lila B Duo Bronzer in B Sunkissed, and I've had my eye on this for quite a while because of Alana Davison, and she has talked about this for years, she, I think, ran out of one and they asked for this for my birthday in May and I've been using it ever since. I love it. I love the packaging. I love the formula. I just, I really enjoy this blush. Wearing it today. Beautiful blush. That's a blush. Bronzer. Where is my brain? I have one mascara to show you. One. Again, I'm wearing most of these products today, so I need to stop saying I'm wearing, but I am wearing this mascara and it's the Essence Volume Stylist 18 hour mascara. This is the lash extensions with lengthening fibers. I don't like notice the lengthening fibers all that much. I tested out 10 different Essence mascaras for a video and this is the one that I consistently reached for since that video. I reached for it over a lot of my high end. I have been enjoying the, the, the Merit Mascara, but it hasn't become a staple favorite, so I didn't include it. But this one I have used consistently and love this. 
quite a bit. This is the BK Beauty brushes. So this year I, t I tried out the BK Beauty eyeshadow palette. Did not like it. They actually gave me my money back for that and I put it towards brushes. The brushes, so, so good. I love these. These are definitely staples and they're soft. They hold up well. They blend product beautifully. So these are definitely, these are definitely a wonderful find from this year. Um, another set of brushes that I have used and abused and unfortunately you can't get these but maybe other brushes by this brand would be great but these are from ulta these are ulta brushes and this was a collection they did with harry potter i love these and use these so much the stone is one of my favorite blending crease brushes i'm sorry he's his toys are making noise this one's called the cloak and i love this I love this for bronzer. I love this for blush. I love this for powder. These are like the softest. These, these feel like they're very expensive brushes and they weren't. So I may try more Ulta brushes in the future because these are great. I meant, to men I meant to mention the Merit brush along with this. So this is like one item because uh, I, they, again, they sent this brush, but I have been loving this brush for any cream liquid products. This is something that I haven't used in a little bit because it's more of a summery color, but I was looking through my drawers to see if there was any like standout favorites from the year. And of course, the Flower Beauty Gel Crush Lip and Cheek. I have used this so much. It's crazy because like it doesn't look like it because it doesn't take much product. This would last you like 10 years. It's crazy. I mean, there's still this much product in here. I love this on my lips. I like it on the cheeks as well. I love the smell of it, but I really enjoyed just putting this on my lips. So this is definitely a favorite. This shade was more summery, so I don't use it right now, but highly recommend that formula. One more eyeshadow palette, and this is a very, very inexpensive one. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Color Icon in Petalette. This is such a beautiful palette. These two shades in particular on the end, are stunning i love them um and then the matte blends beautifully but this is an inexpensive beautiful purple peak tone palette and they have one more product and it's one more foundation i i went through my foundations because i bounce back and forth between foundations but this is one that i've used quite a bit i, I looked for foundation that was like used up a lot and this one i used consistently for a while i use this i had this in a video what was it like my go-to foundation routine and this was in it this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I have used quite a bit of this. I have the shade 20 Fair, and this has definitely been a staple this year, so needed to include that. Oh my gosh, we made it to the end. That's 21 products in 2021. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's it. Hopefully um, Lincoln wasn't too loud in the background. I will find out when I'm editing, unfortunately. But yeah, if you wanna see a hair and skincare version of this let me know in the comments below also give me your opinion on vlogmas do we want to see that do we not because it's a lot of work so i need to know like if you want to see it or not okay that's going to be it for this video guys i can't believe this year is coming to a close we're so stinking close like it goes by so fast after this point of the year because thanksgiving christmas is just all goes so whew, 2023 Wow, I skipped a year. 2022 is coming up really, really fast. So, <sighs> all right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and want to see those future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. My brain is not working. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have anything to wipe my hand on. Uh, a lip gloss. This is. Start over. <laughs> Nap. Nap. Nap.